You know, sharing in your adventures is an interesting experience. Kevin Shirk here, the Indiana Jones nerd, yet again. Aside from Harrison Ford himself, Phoebe Waller-Bridge was the very first person cast for Indiana Jones 5. And it seems to be no coincidence, as behind-the-scenes footage reveals hers to be one of the film's most important characters. Today, we're going to be taking a look at everything we know about this actress and her character. Phoebe Waller-Bridge bursts into stardom with her starring role in BBC's Fleabag, which she also created and wrote. I haven't watched this show myself, but I'm told that it's a good show, and Waller-Bridge received numerous accolades for both acting and writing. She is, without question, very talented and able to bring to life a fun character. This led to her being invited to contribute to the writing process of the James Bond 007 film No Time to Die. She also appeared as the revolutionary droid L337 in Solo A Star Wars Story. It is for this role and her feminist views shared in Fleabag that her casting in Indy 5 received some backlash. Fans are praying that Indy 5 will not be tarnished with a woke agenda as seen in Kathleen Kennedy's Star Wars regime. With that out of the way, let's focus on what we know about her character. As revealed by John Williams, her name is Helena. She shares many scenes with Indy and it is apparent that she will be playing his assistant. Williams described her as adventurous, a femme fatale, and an old soul, and praised both her action scenes and her comedy moments with Harrison Ford. Though not confirmed, I am speculating that her character will first appear as a child in the 1940s segment. Evidence of this comes from location scouting information which mentions a young girl watching Indy in a scene set in Oxford. She might be living with a character named Basil, who I believe is played by Toby Jones, and one rumor suggested that she might be a relative of Denholm Elliott's beloved character, Marcus Brody. If true, I think it would be a terrific way to keep the legacy of Marcus alive. Marcus was wise and well-studied, but also quirky, and I think that Phoebe Waller-Bridge is perfectly suited to portray such a character. She follows Indy to the major locations of the film, New York, Sicily, and Morocco. She even appears in scenes in which they allegedly time travel to ancient Syracuse. Throughout the film, Helena proves herself a useful and capable companion for Indy. During the film's big tuk-tuk chase, she is seen hanging off the back of a speeding car and driving one of the vehicles. But at the same time, she is perhaps saved by Indy in a turbulent parachute drop. She has the highest respect for Dr. Jones who acts as a mentor to her, just as Abner Ravenwood was a mentor to him. Here, we see her fetching his hat. And there have been some rumors that the fedora might just pass to her at the end of the film, that perhaps Helena Brody will be the new name at Adventure. And let's be clear, there is no replacing Indiana Jones. I hope that the character of Indy will live on forever in perhaps an animated series and other expanded adventures. But the idea of a side character getting a spin-off is not something I'm opposed to. Many fans have written off this idea as a disaster, but I think Helena could work as a star of her own spin-off as long as the character and legacy of Indiana Jones are respected. As I mentioned in my previous video though, she wouldn't be my first choice for continuing Indy's legacy, and you can check that video out by clicking the link in the top right corner of this video now. But now I want to turn it over to you and see what you think. There are definitely some controversial issues at stake here for the fans, but I anticipate that Helena will prove to be a popular character. Do you think Phoebe Waller-Bridge will be a good fit as Indy's assistant, and could there be a further future for her character? Thanks so much for watching my video, and as always, I wish you all fortune and glory. Bye-bye now!